Hey there guys, welcome back to this bow. So I wanna give you a very quick PSA or public service announcement. So when you're buying a used vehicle, the number one thing you should be buying for your new used vehicle is, yeah, that is a cabin air filter. Yeah, that's, that's super critical. Do you wanna see why? So you might be thinking, hey Bo, what could possibly be the worst thing that happens? Well, normally your air filter is under your glove box, uh, you know, in there, okay? That's where it is. There'll be all kinds of crap and hopefully nothing too crazy in there, but nip, I was noticing little, little think it would look like scratch marks. They're not really scratch marks, probably just crap. So I pulled the carbon air, my cabin air filter out of my brand new, well, pretty new to me truck. It only has 50,000 miles on it. Look what I found. That was sitting on top, and all these mouse turds were sitting in the cabin air filter. So there is a great reason to change your air filter. So I would suggest getting one that has carbon, and potentially, like these Fram ones also have baking soda, which will help to eliminate some funk. Now, uh, you're getting mouse turds, in your carbon air filter, in your, your cabin air filter, you should definitely be running vacuums and everything else you can to vacuum out that crap because you don't know how deep it goes. So the next thing I'm going to do is jump into the truck and start looking in to see where that air is getting pulled in from and uh, doing a full check to verify that I got all the previous owner's tenants out of my truck. So that's something to think about. It's about 13 or 14 bucks for a new carbon air, like a new cabin air filter. Highly recommend doing that on a new uh, new vehicle. So that way you don't get, you don't find you've been driving around for a thousand miles with mouse shit in your car. So, all right, like, comment, subscribe, talk to you guys soon. And more videos coming later.